Hello everyone and welcome to our how-to technique video. My name is Lori McNorton, floral design coordinator, woo, coordinator for Florist Review and Super Floral. And today I would like to share with you a centerpiece that we're going to incorporate, incorporate a lantern and some fruit, some nuts, some fresh flowers. Um, with this being the first of November, I really think this is an appropriate time to share this design because everybody likes the fall and with the lantern and the candles, it's nice and warm and cozy look. So this will be perfect for a, a centerpiece or possibly a buffet. We're coming into the holidays, the Thanksgiving holidays. Um, so this would be a really nice piece, I think, to complement your dining room table, again, your buffet, an entry piece. So um, let's get started. First of all, I do have the lantern. And what we're gonna do is kind of incorporate uh, flowers and the fruit around the base of the lantern um, instead of inside. So I'm going to begin with an eight inch Oasis design ring. And no, this is not gonna fit around it. So what we're going to do is cut this. And the reason why I'm using the ring, it's lower. I just want to um, enhance the lantern instead of covering it. Um, you can use the igloos, the Oasis igloos. They're a little bit taller. So that's why I decided to use the ring. So I'm just gonna cut this in half. And then there's a plastic base here. And we're gonna just cut that. Very easy to do. Whoa. And then this will fit around the corners so we can come out and make it nice and full. So, all right. Let's just start with the design for part first. So this is kind of how it's going to be set up like that. I want the door to be open because I want you to be able to look in inside the lantern and through the back. So that's why I cut this in half. So with that in mind, we'll just start designing the two pieces. First of all, I'm going to use a little bit of greenery. I've got the Salau foliage. And I do want to take this out. I don't want it to be right up against the lantern. I want it to look like it has some size to it. We will want to do a little bit to the inside of the ring. There's no particular way to do this. And you can use an assortment of greenery. I said I've got the Salau. I've got some ivy that I'm going to put in with it because I want it nice and flowy. Some ivy tails. And I'm not doing, going to use a lot of greenery because I have quite a bit of foliage. I mean, a, quite a bit of fresh flowers. And I want to finish off the ends. All right, next I'm going to add some of my larger pieces. I've got some butterscotch spiders here. bit of ivy in here. Oh, here's a pretty piece that'll make it seem like it's a little bit larger, take up some table space. Like I said, this would be kind of, you could use it in the middle of a table. So therefore you can have 
the trailing greenery. Got some beautiful hand cushion protea. Again, I love the texture of the protea, the pinch cushion. The thing about this is your lantern you will have throughout the whole season and then you can just change out the, um, the foliage and the, and the fresh flowers. You can make this, turn it in from a fall to Christmas very easily. So when you're selling this, be sure and tell your customer to bring that you have the, the lantern and you just want to change the season, change the look so it matches the season. Let me keep this clean here. Okay, I have some pretty red Alstroemeria. And I love the red burgundies with the butterscotch. I think it's a beautiful combination. Got an ostro, a little bit of green hypericum here. And these beautiful butterscotch roses. Now, as we set this up, we'll make some adjustments, but this at least gets a start. Let's see, we have another. Wicodendron. Which definitely has that autumn look to it with the burgundy and the green. Okay. So let's go to the next step. Now, as you see, there's water here. And once, as you're designing, of course, the water will run out. But on the table, I was thinking you could get just a charger, an inexpensive charger. And that way, this will protect your tabletop. So, so what we're going to do, we have our lantern. We talked about the nuts. And I want this kind of spilling out. So I'm going to put a few nuts inside the lantern. Put a few nets inside the lantern. <laughs> Sorry about that. Didn't realize it was going to be quite so noisy. But hey, it's going to look good. I have a candle here. This is a Melrose candle. We all love the fragrance of the real candles, but can't always use the real candles, so these mechanical ones are great to have. I'll turn this around so I can see it a little bit. Like I said, we're just going to kind of fill this in. Oh, well, here. <laughs> step by step, Lori. All right, there we have that. Whoops. Okay. Now, that we have the flowers, the nuts inside. 
I'm going to just kind of look around my centerpiece and fill in the areas that I've missed. I've got these beautiful little butterscotch chrysanthemums. Now next, we'll add in the pears. And I've just got some pretty little red pears with the produce in the produce department. I'm just going to pick those and add those into the arrangement. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult when I'm trying to <laughs> make it possible for you to see and me to design. All right. One other little touch that I want to show you. So I have some cinnamon sticks that I want to add in. So I'm just going to take some bind wire. I'm just going to take my cinnamon stick and wrap this around a couple times. Tie that off. And then I have a wire. And I'm just going to wrap the bind wire. around the wire. Well, we'll get this here in a minute. There we go. There. That's just going to finish off the wire so you don't see the green. All right. And I'm just going to Add those in. Who doesn't love cinnamon sticks in the holidays? All right. Now, <laughs> I kind of wanted to set this up as a centerpiece, but my table is going to be wet, but you'll get the gist of it. Just so you can see against the light of the table, we have a few people that say they can't see the arrangement as clearly on the light table, so, oops. <laughs> Again, I wanted this to look like it's full centerpiece, not just the lantern itself, but I want it to look like it's going to carry on into the table. So we're just going to add some pears here. And you can use pomegranates, um, whatever you like. You could use oranges. And there you have it. Now you could add a few more candles around the centerpiece if you like. Can you see that okay, Sean? Do we need to turn it? Yeah. Move it back. There we go. <laughs> it's 
always interesting to know what's going to happen or what we're going to change as we go. Oh, no. Can you, can they still hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Stick with me. <laughs> okay, and there we have it. Bountiful Lantern Centerpiece. So um, I hope you got some nice tips from this. Um, try different flowers, try different lanterns, candles. It'll be a beautiful setting. So until next week, join in. Thank you. Bye.